uh, get this to focus in here. Okay, so for this part of the build, you're going to have to get out your motherboard manual or look it up online if you don't have one to uh, see your readouts for uh, where you need to hook up your case wiring. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's usually down here. Get it to focus again on the bottom right hand corner here. And uh, you want to make sure that you don't do anything, you know, uh, reverse a positive and negative because uh, that can have some really bad effects once you go to turn it on later. So in this case, uh, let's see, we got the, for the front of my case, I need the power switch, the reset switch, and the hard drive LED. So, um, I'll start with the power switch. And in my case, it says that the, uh, Power switch. It's a reset power switch. Okay. It says that it's the two top, or it's a uh, two pins up top. It's the third and fourth pin. So we're going to put those right there, just like that. So that's on the third and fourth pin. And for the next one, what do we got there? It's the hard drive, LED. That's going to be on the bottom row, and on this one in particular, I'll show you on the switch here, or on the cable. This one in particular has a uh, positive and negative. Get it to focus there. Yeah, positive and negative on the uh, cable itself. So, and also in the motherboard, then manual it shows that there is a positive and negative on the board. The positive is the first post on the bottom left and the negative is the second post. So to do that, okay, so negative is my black, which is pretty standard. Black would be your negative. So we're gonna put that on the first and second pin on the bottom row. Okay, so now that's done. And the last one is the hard drive, or no, sorry, we already done the, that was the hard drive LED. We gotta do the reset switch now. This one doesn't indicate a positive or negative, and it says it is the fourth and fifth uh, pins on the bottom. So if we did one and two there, so we'll just skip one and put this in three and, or four and five, sorry, four and five. So, okay, so those are hooked up. You know, we can just kind of pull the slack back through here, get all these crazy wires out of here because we're done with that. Make sure you don't pull these too hard because you can bend these pins pretty easily. All right, so that part's done. And uh, now we've got our audio jacks for the front panel. And uh, what I mean by that is you have your audio jacks up top there that you'll want to be able to plug your headphones or microphone into if you so, if you choose to do so. So I'm gonna come back down here and we need to find, now you'll see this connector has a, uh, a spot at the corner there that doesn't have a hole in it, so it's impossible to put it into uh, the wrong connector. But what you want to look for is your... Um, You want to look for your uh, com right here. Or actually, this isn't for the audio. This is for the USB. My fault. This is for the USB, guys. 
So for this, you'll want to hook it into here. This is not for your audio, this is for the USB. Okay, so you don't want to put that in the com, sorry. You're going to want to put this in a USB port. Duh. Bear with me here, guys. Okay, so this will be the right way. And like I said, the reason that this is is because... Uh, well, let me see. I think this board does, actually. Yeah. Okay. This board has USB 3.0. That was a USB 3.0 to a 2.0 connector. Those are for your two USB 3.0 ports on the top of this case. So we didn't want, I thought that was the audio, I'm sorry. So what we're gonna do is want this USB 3 to come up here through this hole. And we're gonna, oh actually, uh, yeah, I can do it on that one. Either one, you can either do it on, come up through this hole or, or go down through the other one and you just want to plug that directly into the motherboard there. So that's your USB 3 right there. Sorry about that guys with the confusion on the audio. So now I need to find where my audio is. And I never use the front audio so I'm not even for sure if I have it connected anymore up top. Which it, does, it looks like I do. Okay, so here's your HD audio. So now I'm going to want to do what I told you that you should have done before. And run these up through there ahead of time. Okay, now you're going to want your... This is for HD audio. Okay, so I got it run up through there. And... Again, you only have a certain pin out. There's gonna be one hole that's blocked off. Prevent you from doing stupid stuff like I was about to do and try to plug something into the wrong port. So, uh, we just gotta get this lined up right here. And push it in just a little bit. They usually have a little loop here for some reason. But uh, just make sure that you're careful with that. Okay, so now we got audio hooked up to the front panel. And we have USB 3.1 hooked up to the front panel also. So that handles that part of the cabling. Now we need to get some power to the motherboard, which is right up there. And on this motherboard, it is an 8 pin. So on your PSU, you find your cables for the 8-pin. This is a two fours that connect together, and then you use them as an 8. I know you guys are probably getting dizzy watching this. Okay, so those are through there now. And I'm probably going to have to set you guys down here for a minute. I'll try to get this propped up for you because I'm going to have to have both of my hands so that I can uh, get this cable put together, connected together. I'm fighting with my phone cord too because my phone was going dead. All right, so these uh, cables kind of snap together, or not really snap, but just form together to make a eight pin. So you can put some some of them you can put in one at a time, and other ones you have to put in um, ahead of time. So it just depends on your power supply manufacturer whether you're going to be able to do that one way or the other. Uh, again, these will only go in 
a certain way. There's a square peg at the corner. So uh, you got to make sure that you got it lined up right. I think you better start with that one. Okay, so now the left one's in. I know my arm's in the way, guys. And now the right one's in. Yeah, I'll bring you up there so you can see what I was talking about. So there we go with the two four pin connectors combined into one eight pin connector. So that powers the motherboard, some of it, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to run through the rest of the power for the motherboard. And this will be your big 24 pin connector. Like I said, this is just a really low end budget power supply so um, hence the multi rainbow colors on it and everything so these only fit in one way and in some cases you have an extra four pin here that's also going to only fit in one way too so there you go now we have full power we have our audio up on the front here we have our power switch and this is the HDD LED on the Fantex Eclipse P400 it's just that little tiny light right there but that'll flash when the hard drive is reading and we have the reset switch which is also combined into the power button here and we also have the USB 3.1 hooked up right there directly to the motherboard with no adapter okay guys that'll be it for this one and let's see next we'll be working on uh, what can we move? oh I still need to get this uh, AM3 plus bracket on the back there get the plastic put back on and then I think we're getting ready to put in the processor next Okay, guys, tune in to watch the next video. Thanks.